articles created, and I find normally I find many uh, wrong articles or many uh, articles which uh, which have vandalism, uh, which have uh, copyrights. Mm -hmm. Right. So we go through deleting these articles. If I can uh, manage or arrange uh, the article, I can do. If it isn't, I delete, uh, I delete it uh, speedily. And sometimes you can review the articles in order to uh, uh, the delete, uh, deletion to be deleted. So you have to review, you have to find if there is some resources sources that you, you may uh, may add to save so, uh, this article or not, uh, it's not, be, not able to be saved. So the main, the main issue or the main target that we do is that we have to secure our uh, Arabic encyclopedia, its content, not to be wrong. Sorry, Sorry can I get a microphone? Um, so, um, it's and building on what Bozo was saying, I think the only English Wikipedia I have seen is really um, tends to be specialised. That you have a standard set of tools you get, um, the kind of push and dust pan of um, English Wikipedia, that you can go and um, delete articles, block people, things like that. People tend to be very specialised, so I know people who specialise just on blocks or just on deletion. Um, my personal goal there, I think, has mostly been with the technical side, with templates, um, deleting, restoring, um, again, um, in some cases, our content can go and look at the contributions to share. Um, but it really, the roles are very specialist, and you tend to need to do all different plugins and out, different types of actions, or look at the other things for wider discussions where people tend to be very active. Interesting facts. Uh, I maybe before now used to think maybe an average day of admin starts with deletion. <laughs> They just wake up and they go there and say, Oh, what do I need to delete today? But with this deletion, I mean, maybe you could even go a whole day without getting any notification to delete anything. Interesting. So, um, the next question I think uh, Rosie could attempt this, and of course, the other two can make input. You know, what are the common reasons or likely reasons for which an article would be? Of course, what should an editor do in terms of in the, web, in the case where the article is not there, and perhaps how to let an admin know there is a problem? Because if I create an article and it goes missing in this case, that's a problem for me. I spend a little time almost every day on New Page Patrol. And going through there, I can I see so many new articles, articles written by new editors, articles written by veteran editors, and I can't possibly look at every single article, which is fine, because there are other people who can look at the ones I don't look at. But the ones I do choose to look at, sometimes I will see, um, Issues right away. I think Wally brought up um, issues of uh, either copyright or plagiarism. Uh, they'll certainly catch the attention of that one. But there are other kinds of articles that get deleted, and that's when you, people who are not admins, leave messages mostly on top pages asking for an article to be deleted for a variety, a plethora of different reasons. And then the admin goes ahead and I, I make those um, deletions. But while on new page patrol, just give me a minute with that, mostly I don't deal with deletion. Mostly on new page patrol, if I see an article that is very new, obviously, and it has issues, what I choose to do is to improve the article. Often. It's just little things. And if I see that there are a few things, let's say four things that should be done to protect this article so that the next person who looks at it doesn't say, ah, oh, this should be deleted, is I make those edits incrementally. And I leave a very detailed edit summary, hoping that the person who created the article 
will be to learn from it. Oh, okay, I didn't know I should have done that. Good. Oh, I see Rosie did a second edit, a third edit, a fourth edit. I'm reading her edit summary. I'm understanding what I should have, could have, maybe have done. And next time I write an article, I will remember that. In other words, it's a learning process versus maybe other admins take a quicker approach and might just nominate an article for deletion. Um, as Mike said, each of us does things differently and we have our specialties. I don't do that. I don't nominate the article for deletion. Instead, I'll go to articles for deletion and try to save the article, if, if it can be saved. Not all of them, but if it can. This is what I do with deletions. Uh, usually, uh, we, we review an article, and as we can, we can improve it. We do because we we started as an editor, a new user, and then editor. After that, admin, but not not only admin. So we are editors, okay. Uh, besides uh, the reasons of vandalism or copyright, rights, uh, the main issues that we find in the Arabic community that uh, they uh, break with. Uh, criteria of uh, be, uh, personal uh, uh, people you can they can mention they can write about a professor at the university academic professor he did like the one two three and he published many research researches but we know that research is one of the topics that should the professor do so it isn't something that, uh, it's, uh, to do it uh, notability this is the issue that the, the many users can't, uh, can't be convinced, about, uh, not able to convince about it, with that notability. It's limited with many reasons. Not anyone uh, have published, uh, not anyone have, uh, has published articles or researches or books can uh, have to have, uh, have to have, an art, has to have an article on the Arabic Wikipedia. This is the main issue that we find and after that, he, as an editor or new user, uh, come, comes and asks me, why you, delete, uh, why you deleted my article? We put in our discussion page, uh, why you your article is deleted. You can check this link. And we put also in the reasons on the, on the page, your article is deleted due to one, two, three. But he doesn't like to, re to review, uh, go directly to the, to the admin or to the editor who nominates who nominate this article and ask him why, why, no, we don't have to receive uh, it back, or uh, is this they uh, recreate it again and again and again. So, that's, that's we have to control it a little bit. <laughs> that's really sad. So what do you make? I think Rosie covered most of um, this topic, so I think I just emphasize again that notability is really important, and if you don't put references into an article, it will be deleted. So whenever you're creating a new article, make sure you put references. Make sure they're not just to some person's website, and they are to reliable sources, newspapers, books, things like that, that really demonstrate notability. And that's really important on all the people. Sure. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm the co-founder of a community in 33 language Wikipedias called Women in Red. Women in Red has a focus on um, gender, so women's biographies, women's works, women's issues. The most important part of Women in Red, I have found, may not even be the articles that have been created. It's the conversations on the top page. And circling back to the topic of deletions, if an article has been nominated for deletion, there aren't back-channel kinds of conversation one person, an editor, trying to email someone and say, can you help me? I, I didn't understand what happened here. The conversations all happen on the top page of that wiki project. And with thousands of people watching that page, the answer usually comes quickly that day. And what we tend to do is not necessarily even have a conversation about it on the articles for deletion page, but instead the editors go to work to try to improve the article 
so that it stays. They look for more references, they work on style. If there's a potential copyright, they delete the copyrighted information and leave the, the information that's good, that should be in the article. So it's not just one person, the editor, trying to figure out themselves, what did I do wrong, what, how can I fix this? Instead, they rely on a massive group of people on Wiki who try to improve the article for them. We're in it together. In other words, it's not just you. Another thing is that another great issue that we find uh, in the Arabic Wikipedia that the figures in the YouTube and the reviewing track, track uh, reviewing track. This person uh, has a lot of uh, viewing uh, uh, viewing in, on YouTube, in YouTube, so it should have an article on Wikipedia. No, it isn't. But the editor or the new user who, cre uh, who created uh, who creates the article, so no, has a lot of views in. Uh, and other social media pages, so it should have a page on Wikipedia. No, it isn't. It shouldn't have. And also in the Arabic community, from time to time, they develop uh, the policies, they uh, renew the, and re, uh, rewrite the, the policies again and again to be, uh, to be contemporary with, uh, with the criteria and with the, any, new, uh, any new things that happen uh, for the community. So they renew the submissions and the pages, but people uh, want not to, to read. They would like to read the article, delete it, why? Thank you, Ada. Yes, I don't think uh, YouTube would, would pass for maybe a notable you know, citation or a reference easily, you know. And just like um, uh, Rosie mentioned, I just want to use the opportunity to let people know that the Wiki Project um, you know, pages are also fun. I don't know how many Africans I can say belong or in, in, engage and interact in most of these, um, you know, community project pages. Of course, there is the African uh, portal as a wiki project page, both in English and in French. I don't know how many of us are subscribed there. You know, with, with uh, what I've experienced in some of those pages, you could learn a lot. You just need to be patient and read. and. The community approach to trying to save an article or discuss what the issues are, it, it can be an eye opener on a, a lot of things. So, thank you for mentioning that, Rosie. That was a very vital point. And then, next, uh, you know, I, I, I had a very horrible experience last last year. <laughs> so, we we were trying to uh, organize um, a local Wiki West Africa um, campaign. So I, as Wiki Loves Africa, I was of course leading some training sessions here and there. And then I had a ban on comments. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. And uh, the pain was not a ban, right? Because I tried to write to the steward email. That was last year, April. Guys, I got a reply one year later, like right? this in April. So that really got me thinking, and that's where this particular question you know, comes from. And the question is, you know, what are the stages to engage, you know, as a steward once maybe a new article has been submitted for review? Like maybe someone writes an article, what stages maybe do you engage? to review and maybe is there a timeline around these things because some people maybe have a you know longer timeline getting feedback on an article review or some other thing for me it was you know getting feedback on why I was banned and <laughs> funny enough I <laughs> I wasn't editing <laughs> Or just arranging, you know, a train for some newbies, and maybe someone's shadow ban just fell on me, you know, sent me. So, <laughs> please, what are these stages you perhaps engage as stewards when an article, a new article especially, is submitted for review? Let me tell you, you are not alone. 
And it is not just newer editors whose articles are um, asked or submitted for review, to use your words. I can give you an example that in 2023, an article I wrote maybe 10, 12 years ago was nominated for deletion. I have 280,000 edits plus. And yet something I wrote was nominated for deletion, nominated for review. And so my guidance for myself and for anyone else in that position is don't panic. You are not alone. Harvest the use of everyone else to help that article along. Use whatever back channels you want to help you if you need to stay calm and polite. If you're asked a question, of course, answer it. But helping that article, use your fellow Wikipedians to help it along. I will say this again in another session that I'm doing later today. Your best friend is the top page of Wiki Project Africa. I looked at that top page before I arrived in Agadir, and it's there's conversation there, not enough. I would hope that after this conference, we agree to put our questions there, and when an article is nominated for deletion, we say it there, and we ask for help. We ask for who can help me find more resources, who can help me with notability, who can help this article with whatever the issues are, and together, we can maybe save the article, maybe not. There's no guarantees, no promises. I can tell you that article of mine that was nominated this year, that was written a decade ago, I did not do the work to help improve it. I tried, but I didn't have, a, it was on a woman biographer from a foreign country, don't remember what country, but there were people who had access to references and such that I didn't, who went ahead and made those improvements. The article in the end was saved, it wasn't deleted. So um, don't panic, stay calm, be collaborative on Wiki, not in the Telegram channel, on Wiki. So everything's in plain sight. It's a little difficult maybe at first, but truly it's liberating to be transparent and ask for help. So that would be my recommendation. I never stop my contribution to Wikipedia because I have one or ten art deleted articles. It's normal. You know that maybe there is a division entry to admin, which uh, I saw that I see this article. It's a good, maybe, maybe it will be improved and it works. And another admin, no, it's too deleted. So it's pretty, it's pretty deleted, not, not to be improved. It's normal. Nothing there. Uh, after that, I will know that uh, photo, uh, to review an article, uh, this is the, the main issue or the main uh, task that I need to do, not, not an app. And as all of us are editors, started as editor, so any, any editor can review the article, not the, not the uh, only app. Admin reviews the article uh, in case of being nominated to be deleted.
to you or, uh, from my email, I did, I mainly uh, break out with, uh, break with my uh, privacy. You will see my email, so I don't want to do it. So top page remains the best place. Yeah. For the so on the Wikipedia, on the Wikipedia, you can do everything, and you will find many, uh, many editors who can help you. Thank you. Mike? I think I'm uh, focusing just on creative articles and English Wikipedia has an article for the creative process now that if you're a new person you can't just go and create an article, you have to go through this process. And one thing with Wikipedia is it has huge backlogs. There is so much going on, so much to do and there's never enough people to keep up. So you have to be patient when you submit an article for creation, be patient and wait for people to come and pay attention to that. I think really the first article you create is the most difficult because you don't know people, you don't have a contact. And once you've gone through the process once, you've got a contact, you know, oh that person reviewed my first article, I can just go and them and say, please have a look at my next article and keep the process going and build up a network of people who know on the media. And really it is crucial to get to know people. I think as a newbie, go to Google Contacts is a really good solution. Though it's not an obvious place to go, and it may be very um, intimidating when you join in on the very active talk page. But Google projects are friendly, so do leave a message, do engage with people, and um, don't expect processes to go quickly, and don't just focus on some individuals. Make sure it is trying to reach out to Google projects, to groups of people, and be respectful of everyone's time and everyone's needs. Thank you so much, Mike. So. You know, networking really is a very core component when it comes to learning as fast as possible. So it, 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 it has helped myself in maybe at least two to three occasions and I would highly recommend it. You know, go to the um, cafe space, the tea houses and all. You would definitely come in contact with a lot of very knowledgeable Wikipedians and Wikipedians who could come in handy. Thank you, thank you. And then the, the next question, Mike, I think you rather finish with uh, have a go at it and then uh, while I'm, um, I've been wondering because it's like there are thousands of reasons for which one could, you know, have an IP or uh, proxy block. But then just an overview, what are you know some of these reasons responsible for IP slash Blocks. And then, in, in case someone maybe wishes to uh, apply for an exemption, are there requirements? It's a really complex issue that we can't really cover um, just here. So, um, I'd encourage you to go to the tool. Um, no, sorry, it's day to day, it's in with um, NAT. Um, and editing, um, editing sessions virtual, which will cover this in more detail. But just very briefly, um, so the IP address is your computer's address basically and you can, this, it's normally a shared resource so you don't always have the same IP address, it's passed around and what you can find is people uh, vandalising, um, not yourself vandalising but other people vandalising people's IPs to be blocked either just one IP address or you can block a whole range of IP addresses which are all in common to a network or a country and um, which is called a range block and that would be um, quite wide ranging. Um, also, um, with proxy blocks, that's if you're editing uh, using a VPN, um, then often those are blocked because it's a very anonymous route and you get a lot of vandalism coming in from that. So, normally it's best to not edit from a VPN if you possibly can, so that's tricky. Uh, there are ways of being exempted from these blocks. You have to have an account, you can't edit anonymously, you have to be logged in. And you have to depress that on with you there are the processes for doing so. Um, and you have to make it clear why you're being affected and how it's your help. So do engage with um, specialists who work um, on the on the IP box and do listen to what they say, do respect and engage with them and they'll be able to make the process. I know this is very difficult between different cookies as well. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, for Sarpic Wikipedia, it isn't easy to get uh, to get uh, IP exemption because uh, when uh, Wikipedia started uh, in Arabic uh, in 
it's out of it's out of countries in Morocco and in, in Jordan, I think in Iran and Iraq. I think the three countries that we're uh, working with the Wikimedia Zero. Uh, so we got a lot of panelists from Morocco, or especially from Morocco users who have many uh, many things, many wrong things on the list, many sexual groups, many things. So, so you, you, find, you find a lot of content. So we blocked a lot, a lot of sections, not, uh, not only one and <coughs> two, a lot of ideas. Uh, so when you find someone, uh, or I, I, uh, many people find, uh, some people can continue, continue this, uh, uh, Contact you in social media. Told you, please, uh, I need the exception of my ID. I'll be blocked. But who are you? <laughs> who are you to ask me? To ask me that? What is? What about your contributions for the for the Wikipedia to ask you to ask about that? Because you have to be a known person or a known editor or a confident person. Not anyone may uh, can ask for exception because we know that. Uh, maybe do uh, or generate many vandalism. So, but if, if it's something related to the privacy or your security, it's okay. We can give you. But you should you should demonstrate uh, some types of co uh, confidence for the for the users, for the users of those other media. So you can find many people as any the exception of our people. So and after that you can add anything that you need and we didn't able to recognize them. Interest. So if you want an IP uh, exemption, you need to earn it over time. So that when one asks who are you, you can properly introduce yourself <laughs> based on you know how you've come so far to earn it. Thank you. Uh Rosie, do you have anything to add? No? Okay, nice. So um Lastly, you know, uh, when of course I was trying to research around how we invented hyperbox, you know, it has to do with preventing vandalism and promotion. What, uh, what role do admins have in terms of countering vandalism across, uh, you know, Wikimedia projects, especially of course in the in Wikipedia? We can go first to Rosie. I'd start by saying we all have a role in that, though, right? And I, I know that it's not anybody in this room. It's none of us. Think about your 15-year-old next-door neighbor and my 15-year-old next-door neighbors and Wallace and Mike's. Maybe those are the people who are doing the vandalism just because they're trying things out. So there is a tool that I want to talk about that um, was designed to look for vandal-related um, edits. And that is a tool called ORES. It's um, an acronym, O-R-E-S, and I don't recall what those four letters stand for, maybe one of my colleagues do, but it shows potential kinds of um, vandalism and as an admin, we would look for those and obviously deal with them if in fact it is a um, vandal act. But guess what? Just like the pharmaceutical industry sometimes creates a new um, medicine that's designed to help with one disease, let's say diabetes, and five years, ten years later, they find that this medicine is also good for something else. Well, say the Oris. Oris was designed to detect uh, potential vandalism, but it's also very useful in seeing how to rate an article that has nothing to do with vandalism. So keep an eye, you know, be open-minded, I would say, as an admin, but all of us have access to Oris. And so if you see something that might potentially be all the time. I would say not 365 days of the year, but maybe 360 days of the year. So just be mindful that it is a trigger, it just shows something, but it doesn't necessarily mean that an act of vandalism has occurred. Um, 
And that's what I have to say. For uh, uh, we did like, or we do like something, I don't know how to say in English, it's called Murashah Hibisea, which means that he, he put uh, some words in, in a list, and if any new user can read this, uh, put this uh, word in the, in the title, it, uh, they prevent, uh, the system uh, prevent, uh, prevent him to create the article, or aren't able, uh, isn't able to create uh, this article. So this is one, this is, I think that is one of the successful ways that we do to prevent, uh, to prevent creating uh, wrong things or something related to vandalism. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Mike? I think on English Wikipedia that's called the abuse filter. The abuse filter. It's filtering the text of specific words on the other. And the goal with happening with vandalism is kind of the last step. It's really, if you see someone coming along and just doing more vandalism, we are going to try to explain why. Um, you remember you were talking to probably a new user, so try to be a code or anything. Um, but that means to get involved when it becomes a serial vandalism, that people go through article after article after article, but always vandalism, uh, always analyzing them, never contributing well, which pretty directly leads to a lot. You get warnings and then the admin comes along with that. That's one of the um, tools in which I'm told the process of an admin is being able to block. Um, and it's um, almost the worst case scenario because that means that user can't back easily edit. it. They have to press another block, and it's a long process. I have heard of success stories of something that started in uh, 2005 vandalizing uh, articles and realized over time, oh, this is actually a uh, really valuable resource. And I know admins themselves, they've, they've been going through the whole process and understand um, the importance and, and being able to curate and look after Wikipedia. So, never mind when you look at the analysis and stay on potential users in the future. Um, it, it, sometimes they can be converted. Thank you so much, Mike. Uh, these are. Okay. There's something related to the admin, the admin rule. Again. In, the, in Wikipedia in general, uh, for the community, uh, we, we have the role of uh, or the, the, the role of uh, of revert of revert three, three times revert. See uh, if if you find two editors or two editor and uh, editor and editor do the three times revert. Uh, you, uh, you you talk you tell, you tell him it is, uh, it's forbidden to do that. And if you want, you will prevent it. You block, uh, block the two persons. Yes, this is one of the main things that ad any admin he controls. But you know that when the admin get, get this right, the community approves the community approves this, this for, for the admin. So they, they, they know that he is a confident person. So it shouldn't be like not to uh, Argue with, with him. Why you did? Did you? What did you do it? Why? 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 Because everything is is published now for everyone. So I didn't want to do anything. Do anything. Uh, actually, you know, happy to know there is you know some sort of fair hearing policy where you try to know why you know before dropping the hammer <laughs> on the editor because. <laughs> Um, we we you know hope this could uh, cut across the board. Like uh, I think it was Rosie that highlighted, you know, speedy deletion. You know, we could also apply fair hearing. What are you trying to do? Are you maybe did you publish the article uh, half baked because you lack sources or citations or things like that? Uh, that could really help to you know start engaging ed 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 editors um, in conversations. That could give you know a way to learning and perhaps teaching them right. And perhaps uh, I've heard some persons <laughs> say things like, uh, "Oh, our policies are voluminous to read," things like that. And that makes sense because as uh, Wikimedians, we have other lives. So someone might not ideally want to sit down going through some policy document for one hour. So. Perhaps we can consider maybe having 
all our policies at a glance. I don't know how, how that would work. It could be an audiovisual thingy or maybe you know something fun and less uh, for voluminous to consume. And with that, I, I believe we can have people reading because, like you rightly said, well, uh, people don't read when you you know drop a link on why they have want to add something. Okay. Such a good point you made. There are so many policies. In 2007, when I first started editing, I didn't read one of them. But it was 2007. I was a pretty good writer already. I had taught at the university level, so I understood close paraphrasing, that um, uh, plagiarism, I knew what an inline citation was. I, looked at a lot of articles, I saw how they were written, I mimicked what I saw. It was 2007, no one wrote on my talk page, no one wrote notes to me, I thought I was writing in a vacuum, and I was perfectly happy with that. But this is 2023, and so if there's like one piece of advice I could give you as we move into probably the Q&A section is this. If you are a newer editor, and you haven't read the policies, be careful what it is that you do. If you're a newer editor and you try to create a new page, your article will show up in New Page Patrol, and we will not only see the title of your article, we will see your username if it's still in red because you hadn't gone into your username and written one word, five words, 25 words about yourself. We will see your name is in red and we will think, new editor. We will see your top page is in red. If nothing is there, new editor. We will see your edit count. New editor. We will see how many categories you put in this article. And if it's none or one, new editor. So before I even click on the article, I will know a whole lot. Is the article an orphan? It'll stay in red. Orphan, okay, new editor. And uh, if there's potential copyright bio, violation bio, it'll show up in red, potential copyright bio. So before I click on the article to look at it, this information is available right away. And so I would urge you, if you haven't read the policy, if you haven't looked at 15 other articles, on the same topic, you know the categories at the bottom of the page. If you want to write an article about um, uh, a Nigerian writer, look at 15 articles about Nigerian writers or of another nationality and see what those look like, how they are structured, the amount of references, the kind of references, Look at that, if you don't want to read the policy, you can learn a lot just by look at 15 other articles that are similar before you create the article. But know that unless you've built up your edit count and every time you add a comma and hit save, you've built up your edit count. Add another comma on another article, building up your edit count. Add a header, building up your edit count. Add an extra sentence in the lead, you're building up your edit count you will start learning what you're doing too by doing that and building your edit account so that when you create the new article, the person who's looking, like me, is going to see a higher edit account, will see that you have, the article is not an orphan, you bothered to link it to another page, will see that there's no copyright files, although even if we see it doesn't say copyright file, we run it, on English Wikipedia, we can run an article through a tool that will give us a percentage probability that an article has a copyright file, and then we decide what we think about that. There's no nothing def definitive about it. Just building up your edit count gives credibility. It means to someone that, okay, they, they know what they're doing. I, I don't know that you should read the policy. I don't care if you read the policy. You don't have to read it. Just learn by looking at other articles. You'll learn a lot looking at, I say 15, I'm sorry, I mean 50, but I'm gonna say 15 because I don't wanna scare you. Just look at other articles and learn from them so that you emulate that 
when you try to create a new article or improve another article. You can just learn by doing, learn, learn by reading what others are doing. You're not in it by yourself. So, Are you most proud of? 
and theoretically you're going to nominate an article there that you've done a considerable amount of work on and maybe actually three or five articles. And it will be articles that have gone through a peer review. In other words, they were reviewed at Did You Know? They were reviewed at Good Articles Review. They were reviewed by someone who didn't write in a vacuum. They went through a review. So how do you become an admin? You must prove that you're trustworthy. And if you're trustworthy enough, I think by 75% of the people who vote think you're trustworthy, that's how you're going to get your, um, that's how you're going to get the tools. Your session about how to become an admin somewhere else in the program. So please attend that too. and a trusted user and I prefer that someone really nominates you, not you, not you nominate yourself because if the community sees that, uh, sees that uh, you are, uh, you, are uh, you, you have uh, administra administrative uh, rules as an editor, they will nominate you, they will ask you if you would like to be an admin and they will nominate you. So I think this is uh, the best way to do no? I don't prefer that I commit myself. Thank you, Wella. Well Mike? Just to add to that, that um, you're demonstrating your interest, your expertise is really important. Um, demonstrating why you want to become an admin is important. Okay. If you have a specific thing you want to work on, then explain that. Um, but also, don't wait to become an admin to work on it. If you're interested in looking at deletion discussions, go and join the discussions, go and comment and give indications of what your proposal would be, I think, by passing your vote on or your you comment. And build up the expertise, build up your um, body of work, and then show when you come to be an admin, to apply to be an admin, you can say, look, I've got all this experience already in these different areas. This is where I'm trying to contribute to, this is why I need an admin to. And if you don't have that, if you just say, oh, I want to be an admin because it's an extra hat, it's an extra that, you don't get that. To show why you need it, why you're interested, why you're a good person to have one. Thank you, Mike. Uh, precious, then, Harry. Hi. So, my question is you mentioned IP address uh, proxy block. Does an admin have the right to give someone an IP block? And yeah, no, not exactly sure. Can they make a block? Can they block an IP? And can they reverse an IP? That's the question. So I'm going to pass the IP block question, sir. One minute. Yeah, she's asking if an admin can block somebody and maybe revert a block.
Yes, please. Come there and I can show them. There is a session later around, of course, related to our subject. Please, we hope to see you.